I am a pharmacogenomic pharmacist at Mayo Clinic, but I was born in a country called Ghana, West Africa. In Ghana, one of our state birds is the mosquito, and mosquito transmits a disease called malaria, which I had my fair share of whilst growing up in Ghana. During an episode of malaria, one will shiver. You know, it's as if you're in a freezer, but then your body temperature will be really, really, really high. During such episodes, my parents would take me to the hospital where I received a shot called chloroquine. Now, chloroquine did manage my malaria to the sense that the body temperature will come back to normal and I'll feel myself again. Unfortunately, chloroquine also um, came with its own side effects, which was itching. You'd be laying in bed, scratching yourself, and before you know it, there was another medication to manage that, which was spiritin. And I was amazed at how these medications could take somebody like me who was suffering from malaria back to myself, which got me interested in understanding more about these medications. So when I had a chance to go to pharmacy school, I learned more about how these medications worked. Now, when I got to Mayo Clinic and worked as a pharmacist, one of the opportunities that I had was work as a medication therapy ph um, pharmacist. But after multiple consults, one of the things that I realized was that some of these patients were not benefiting from these medications or had some major adverse reactions that they could not tolerate and so they stopped taking their medications, which led me to the field of pharmacogenomics. So if you are thinking about a career in pharmacy, I recommend and suggest that you think about pharmacogenomics. Again, could be a little biased, but I think that is the future.